Top story, dangerous, reckless and counterproductive. Hello, I'm Warren Murray. This is what's been happening. North Korea has overnight warned it might attack the U.S. airbase on Gom after Donald Trump told Kim Jong-un to expect fire and fury if he continues to threaten the United States. The Two leaders heightened fears of war with an exchange of incendiary language that has usually been confined to the North Korean side in the year's long standoff over its nuclear weapons program. Japan has warned that the North might have come up with an atomic warhead small enough to fit on a missile, the last major obstacle to launching a nuclear attack. While there is some doubt over the Extent of its advances, Pyongyang has been threatening physical retaliation for increased UN sanctions that have followed its testing of intercontinental ballistic missiles. North Korea best not make any more threats to the United States, Trump told journalists at his club in Bedminster, New Jersey. They will be met with fire and fury like the world has never seen. He then expanded. The line to fire, fury and frankly, power the likes of which this world has never seen before. Facebook Twitter Pinterest Trump threatens North Korea with fire and fury. Kim Jong-un's regime responded that it was carefully examining a plan to create an enveloping fire around the U.S. Territory of Gom and its Anderson Air Force Base, located 2,100 miles away, 3,400 kilometers, from the north. The People's Army, KPA, said it would use its medium to long range HWASONG 12 missile to contain the base unless the U.S. seized its reckless military provocation. The Washington based Arms Control Association said Trump's threat was dangerous, reckless and counterproductive, while a chief Republican critic of the president, John McCain, said, that kind of rhetoric, I'm not sure how it helps. Our World Affairs editor, Julian Borger, says the dangerous bluster reminds us that the enormous destructive capacities of these two dire foes are under the control of volatile and Brittle leaders driven by a need to bolster their strongman image. North Korea expert Robert Kelly said, There's rhetoric on both sides. It's like two bullies in the playground yelling at each other. They just needed to say something in response. You poke the North Koreans in the eye and they poke you back. Avoid the cliff edge. The Bank of England has warned it could lose its grip on the financial sector and the upheaval that would follow an abrupt Brexit. Deputy Governor Sam Woods has added to pressure on Theresa May to accept a transitional deal with the EU.